A word from the prophet Isaiah, the 43rd chapter. For I am about to do something new. I have already begun. Do you see it? Happy New Year, ELCA coaches. We pray you've been able to rest and refresh over the holiday. We are starting our message today with a word of thanks to our longtime coordinator of mission development and congregational vitality coaching, John Mako. After serving in this role and numerous other positions with the church white office for decades, John is retiring with his lovely wife, Caroline. We deeply appreciate how John's leadership has shaped and shepherded our coaching ministry. Thank you, John Mako. And with this transition, we welcome the Reverend Sonia Ware to this role. Sonia is credentialed with the International Coaching Federation, and she is also a certified professional grief coach. She brings years of firsthand experience in the world of mission development and congregational vitality to this position. Sonia has been onboarding for a few months and officially begins in this role February 1st. Welcome, Sonia. And now for another something new. Thank you, coaches, for sending in your data. Gathering these metrics is a crucial step in telling the story of the impact of our ministry and that we're having, and we're grateful for your partnership in this process. I'm pleased to report that as of today, we've received nearly a thousand hours of coaching logged across 20 different people. We're well on our way to getting that challenge grant, and every response that we get gets us one step closer. And as we begin a new year, May we offer some questions on which we might all reflect as we model healthy ways of being church in the world. How do our goals, words, and actions reflect our beliefs and values? How are we prioritizing care for ourselves, for our communities, and for our world? And in what ways are we remaining open to the moving of the Spirit in all that we are, say, and do? So now let's pray together. Dear Jesus who walks with us, as we step into the new year, we ask that you would clothe us in your love, strengthen us to live gently on this earth, and grant us humility to see all we encounter as precious. As you embody, help us to live out your fierce love, all-encompassing kindness, and generous patience this day and always. Amen. And now for a blessing. Dear friends, may you know that you are seen. You are valued. And you are loved. And that you are changing the world one coaching conversation at a time. God bless you.